way, sustained by Don Trancasco. Francis Moore up in the middle there, the total pole. Is that skinny thing doing all right? It's only four metres across the base and 67 metres high, though. All right. So pretty amazing to actually stand there. Rock climbers have told us that it actually sways in the wind and it's really windy, though, and they can feel it moving beneath them. Which is hard to sort of imagine, but they reckon, that's what they reckon. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> How do they get across there? How do they get across there? Um, oh, to, to get to the totem pole, they walk out, upside down, and they can sort of jump across, or otherwise they like push off the legs and swing oh, across. Oh. Yeah, and they get hold of it. The next thing they do, like, so once they get onto the totem pole, the base, then they're going to climb up. It takes about six hours to get to the top. Oh. Um, which, yeah, is pretty wild. When they get to the top though, getting back is the interesting bit and what they do is they use the rope that they add sail down on, they pull it tight at the top. So as they climb it sort of hangs loose beneath them, get to the top, tie it off tight, then clip into it, pull themselves back across it. So hanging beneath the rope. Yeah. If you get to the candlestick, the bigger one, they add sail to the base of the cliff, rock, paper, scissors with their mate. Whoever loses has 